Hey, what's up? Chica here for the Dragon Files, and welcome to HTML Links Part 2. In Part 1, we have learned to make a link that will link you to another website or another web page. This time, we'll learn a lot more using HTML links. So, first one is navigating within the web page. Here's an example. When you click the paragraph 1, it will bring the user to paragraph 1. So, let's click it, and you see it brings me to paragraph 1. And when you click the paragraph 3, it will bring you to paragraph 3. And you can see here another link, the go back to top. So click it, and it will bring us to top of the page. To do that, we will be using the attribute called name. This is used to name an anchor inside an HTML document. The syntax of the named anchor is like this. Open angle bracket, A, space, name equals open quote and then the label or the name you want close quote close angle bracket and then the visible content and then close it with slash a tag and to make a link that will go to the name anchor the syntax is like this a and we'll be using h ref equals open quote number sign symbol and the name of the anchor and then the visible content where the user will be clicking and then close it with closing a tag which is slash a so now let's try it what i have here is three long blah blah paragraph so first let's name paragraph three to do that we have to enclose it with anchor tags so these are the anchor tags a and close a now, in using the name attribute, I suggest that you will name it something near to what it is. In naming, we can use names like Dogs, or Irene, or Notebook, and anything we want. But in this case, it is best to use Paragraph 3, or to shorten it, we can make use of Part 3 instead. So now type in name equals open quote, and type in number sign Part 3, and close it with close quote. Do the same thing on Paragraph 1 and 2. So now we have named the paragraphs. What we need now is the link to the names. Usually this ability of the A tag is used to make table of contents for easy navigation. So on the top of our page, type in paragraph 1, paragraph 2, and paragraph 3. Go to top and type in paragraph 1, paragraph 2, and paragraph 3. So it will go like this. Now these three words will serve as our links in the web page. Now enclose them with a tag. It should look like this. Now add the href tag with the name of the paragraph as the value and add the number sign after the open code. This tells the browser that the location of the link is just within the document. So type in href equals open code number sign par1 for paragraph1 close code. This is for linking it to paragraph 1 and href number sign part 2 and part 3 for paragraphs 2 and 3 respectively. So now save it and go to your web page and reload it. Click the link paragraph 3. So you will see it will automatically bring you to paragraph 3 of the page. Now let's add a go to top link. To do this you don't have to make a name on the top. You just have to use a name that is not used. In this case, we don't have an anchor named top, so we can make use of this to bring us to the top of the page. This happens because the browser cannot find the anchor the link is looking to. So let's make the visible text, which is go to top, and enclose it with anchor, and enclose it with anchor tag, a href equals quote then the number sign and then the word top because we never named an anchor top and then close it with close a save it and then go to your web page reload it and let's see what will happen so this is it click it and we'll see that it will bring us to top of the web page so that's it for our part 2 be sure to check our part 3 for more usage of html links and if it helps, rate, comment, and subscribe. And tell your friends we have a great channel here, The Dragon Files. 
It is Jiggly, and we'll see you next time.